Hey there, fellow teachers and future programmers. I'm Ryan Houston. I'm Nicole Solis. And I'm Ingrid Wolf. We are coaches from the Office of Ed Tech. We're here to show you the best coding resource ever created. By, by the three of us. us. We put together a step-by-step -step guide for students to complete an hour of code activity independently by grade level. These activities are fun and super engaging. And the best part is you can do them all by yourself. Let, Let us show, show you how. how. All right, so once you've made it to the Hour of Code website, the first thing you'll see at the top of the page is an objective for the coding activities. After watching this instructional video with your class, students can then scroll down and choose their grade level from this menu. We're gonna use first grade as an example. Students are gonna find their grade level and click. They'll be brought to their grade levels page and then they'll follow four simple steps to participate in the Hour of Code. Directions are listed here at the top of each grades page. For step one, students will click on this video to learn more about the Hour of Code. Students will then click on the next video for step two. Each grades video is a tutorial about their coding activity. For step three, students will click on the link for their Hour of Code activity. This link will bring students outside of, their, of our website where they'll complete their puzzles. Once finished, students will click on the SDP Hour of Code tab here on the left. And return back to their grade level page. Here, they will fill out the student survey. Surveys have been embedded into each grade level page to make it as easy as possible for the students to complete. Please note that Surveys are currently closed, but they will be open during the week of December 9th through the 15th. Digital literacy teachers, if you are planning different coding activities for your classes, you still have easy access to, to the student surveys by clicking on this tab. You can also see our live coding statistics and participation by following this link here or by clicking up here on live stats. Lastly, at the bottom of each grade level page, students have an opportunity to go home and continue working on Hour of Code during their free time. All they have to do is click on this link, search by their grade level and or topics of interest, and that's it. Teachers, we've also created a resource page for you. On this page, you'll find the Hour of Code Teacher Feedback Survey, which we would love for you to fill out so we can learn some more about what you thought and how we can improve for next year. You can also click here on Print Student Certificates, copy and paste your class list into this field here, and generate certificates of completion for each of your students. Click on the following links for even more resources. We hope this website makes the Hour of Code an exciting and educational experience for teachers and students this year. We can't wait to hear how much you enjoyed the Hour of Code. Don't forget to fill out your survey. Get after it, future coders. <laughs>